I'm a snap by Jack and welcome back to Dead On 2. Oh man, the last episode was absolutely hilarious. Um so I was <laughs> I was fighting Butcho the Clown, right? And what happened is that uh, it auto completed because I fell in the water and died and he fell in the water as well, which auto completed the mission. <laughs> so he went to charge in to kill me. But he fell in as well, auto completing the mission. <laughs> um, so that that was that. <laughs> uh, I, I died like uh, quite a few times, and I, I I kind of figured out the pattern of how to kill him anyway. But um, yeah, that was so stupid. I couldn't believe it. After all that time of me being scared of a clown, he killed himself. Yeah, all that time he technically killed himself. <laughs> oh god, I have this knack for not doing it on purpose, but have this knack of glitching games not on purpose. I think the first one was um, Goat Simulator. I glitched that on purpose <laughs> and not on purpose as well <laughs> and then when I was playing um, Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West I got caught in like uh, an alcove and I got stuck and she just kept going uh, 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 like dying and then I just jumped out the middle and then killed myself and then spawned again <laughs> such a I seem to have this knack for accidentally glitching games and I don't know why I do it. I don't know how I do it. But the thing is it registered it registered me actually killing him as well. Which is very weird. I wouldn't say these games are perfect, let's be honest. But it was, it's fun. Fuck me. <laughs> Such an idiot. Okay, what do I need to do? Search for the truth. Track down t shirt. Okay. Find this bean cup cafe and start there, I guess. Do you think I could rage and then go down there? Would that be possible? I want to see, but I don't think my rage is ready yet. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I actually have to cut out quite a bit of the game on purpose because even though it's an 18, um, YouTube don't like certain parts of the game. So when I went into the sewers, uh, I unlocked the rage mode. I had to get rid of it um, because it's completely like over the top violent, 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 violent. So that means I would have to either age restrict it, which means a portion of my audience won't, won't watch it, or YouTube will slap me on the wrist and give me a strike. So, yeah, just so you know. I'm actually killing them all the way down there, that's interesting. He's on fire. No, sorry. Oh, 
Bye guys, see you later. Have fun. Just gonna squeeze past you there. When did I get the ammunition? Does it just automatically appear in my inventory now? That's interesting. Side mission. I just shot her clean in the fucking face. I just glitched through that gate. I'm, I swear to God, I'm glitching a lot of things at the moment. I don't mean to be on purpose. Let's have a look at this mission then, shall we? We've got quite a few here. Um, so where's this on the map? New offices in Ocean Avenue. Oh, I missed. So where is this? Um, so <coughs> let's have a look. So. Let's have a look at these quests. So, hold on. Monarch Studios, of course it is. Uh, let's do these, shall we? And then get as much um, XP as possible, then, I guess. So, okay, so it's back at Monarch Studios. That's where we fought the um, Slobber, wasn't it? So this one, you heard of this draw sent from the offices in Ocean Avenue. Okay, we'll do this one first. Um, let's go down to 
there quickly. Um, I want to go to there. Green screen. Here we go. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, doing the side missions first of all gives you XP, so that means I can level up quicker. And then I'll do the bo both side missions first, and then what I'm going to do is do the main mission. I shouldn't be using my guns that often, because it does actually um, alert all the zombies around you. And it wastes my ammunition very quickly, so... Ensign, that I'm getting lost within endless layers of contemporary entertainment metaphor. Was she talking about you? Ah, I got on the fire. That killed me immediately. Yeah, we'll try that again. Get off me. Oh, it's the electricity and the fire that's killing me. You're hurting yourself because you're an idiot.
I swear the kick is like the most powerful weapon in the game. the game is absolutely insane as well to God. until the fire goes down. <laughs> Adhesive, aerosol, cash and gunpowder. Good, oh. Good, good. All that. <laughs> yeah, you can't jump out there. Okay. These deadheads so we can talk. Splatter zombies. One by me. Um, hello? You gonna talk to me? What's 
sir. Mister. Hello. Hello. We're having this issue again. Come on. Come on, sir. Sir. Mister. Can you speak to me? <laughs> Because I'm, I'm kind of like smacking my dick around right now. <laughs> Not doing anything. Sir, come on. Mister. Talk to me. Apparently I can jump like fucking Spider-Man, apparently. Come on, man, I, I mean, come on, talk to me, do something. Okay, what I'm going to do is not do this mission. Um, I'm going to leave. <laughs> Sorry. Have fun. I see we have a growing audience. Let's have some fun. I don't care. See you later. Not doing it. Right, we're going to do the actual main mission. Sorry. Yeah, well, I'm gonna avoid you because I'm not gonna do it. Sorry. Sorry. Goodbye. Have fun. Can you please just tell me what to do because I'm getting a little bit annoyed. Somehow I managed to do it. I was getting a little bit annoyed to be honest. I didn't really like this side mission, but I managed to do it somehow. I think I just had to keep moving and dying over and over again. <laughs> but I did it anyway. And apparently I seem to randomly magically appear med kits and ammunitions for my shotguns and everything, so that's interesting. Oh, there he is. Hannah said you were the business and she was right. Stellar fucking work there. Lest we forget, Buzzy. Lest we forget. And you bought me enough time to make sense out of this spaghetti wires up here. I had hoped your full attention was on blowing shit up near me. But bygones, right? 
So what's the upside? New ideas and new know-how. Some of which might apply to you, in fact. I've got an idea for something to gussy up your weapons. Nice. All's peachy, that ends peachy. You okay to get back by yourself? Oh, yeah. And the Venice Canals are gonna get a lot more dangerous to deadheads as soon as I'm back there. Deadheads? Military grenade? Oh, it's a new curveball. Interesting. Also, I've got a new skill as well. Quite a few of them. So, overhead smash. Okay. When you're fury mode, let loose and unless you're powerful, ground smash. You know what? I might actually do that. Scream. You can scream now. Weakens nearby zombies, you know? Badassari. So, who's missing this time? It's you! Oh, thank fuck. Uh, and, yeah, <laughs> Daz hasn't checked in, and, and I'm starting to get super worried. You, uh, up for rescuing another damsel in distress? Well, I don't know. I was gonna do my hair, but fuck it. The bark bomb and can... Hello Denise, Tisha's missing. Any clues? Well, let's see if we can buy some stuff. Um, it gets. Cool, let's buy some ammunition. You know what, fuck it, let's do the main mission. I do like the idea that... Hold on. I like the idea that you can go back to all these different locations, get more XP and stuff. And what I do like is that you can change your skills at any time. And also you can go back to all these locations that you've explored to do side missions to level up quicker. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the main missions and I think you can go back and do the, the side missions because I looked online, once you finish the game you can go back and do all the other side missions you missed and now that I can fast travel as well you can now go back and do the other side missions I think and get all the, uh, track down all the other different types of uh, zombies as well of get different blueprints and different guns and stuff so that's pretty cool I like the fact that you can just change your skills whenever you want because your playstyle I think that's really cool Take it back in back one, one piece because if you remember when Dead Island 1 and Riptide your skills are Find just a skill jump cafe and start there I guess yeah, it was just a skill tree, whereas in this one, yeah, okay, you get skill cards, and you just change your um, your skills around, how your playstyle. Whereas in like one and Riptide, you don't really have much of a choice because you you just have to choose a certain character like this one. It's all different how you want to play it, which is cool. I like it. It's a different 
it's a dynamic of how you want to play. Mysteriously goody box code. Yeah, I like it. I like the whole idea of changing your skills around and stuff. I think it's pretty cool. And obviously certain zombies have different weaknesses and strengths as well, which is cool. Whereas in Dead Arm 1 and Riptide, you just have to fight them constantly. It gets a bit tedious, whereas, I mean, zombie games, let's be honest, very tedious and stressful. Look. <laughs> they just they're like, what's going on? Ha <gasps> ha! <gasps> Blown up. <laughs> the stupid, stupid, stupid zombies! I swear to God. Oh, because there's a canister that I just blew up. Down. Secondly, secondly, I'm not sure I trust him. Why do you say that? Don't know. A tingle in my socks. Yeah, join the club. So, get this. I'm sightseeing in Brentwood sewers when this lady, bare feet, calm as you like, tries to kill me. Not five minutes ago, I walk in on her and your dad, chatting like an old couple. Auntie Lola? Why would she be here? That's her. She acts like this is all just another day at the office. Mm, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, she she forced me in the sewers, and that's when I got the fury mode. I just got that out come back and let Ruby know you're people. okay. <laughs> Not happening. This is your family, Tisha. Okay. God, hold up. Look, we both want to know what's going on with Dad, right? If I give you a direct line to Lola, can you give me more time to investigate? Don't know. I don't want to piss off the one guy that can get me out of here. Look, there's a data blackout, right? No internet, no nothing. But our resident hacker, Ava, has found data packets routing between the Serling, CDC HQ, and the Randgate building. It might clue us up on what Dad's mixed up in. And what is this hotline to your Auntie Lola? I got a code phrase. Look, you go to an OSK store and say 12 Sambuca Karaoke Queens to the OS. OSK? Wait, she's that Lola Conrad? Yeah, and if she's involved, it's something wild. Okay, deal. But we share the goss, right? No more being kept in the dark. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Cool. Welcome to the Mushroom Club. She got a cross Tisha. I'm outside the Rangate building. I think the lab's in loading bay 7. Can you open it? Sure can. So the lab's in the building. I'm on my way. Thanks. I'm going in. See you soon. Of course. Your bog standard welcoming committee? Me. That was mental. I see. T I see to ra randomly just have a limited amount of shotguns. I think I glitched it when I killed that clown. <laughs> well, actually, no, he killed himself or whatever. Let's have a look around as well. Fastness, yeah, I'll take all of that. Um. So 
There's the fibres, I take all of it, really, as I see Triple locked. Someone was being extra cautious. Of course. So that means I'm going to have to find a thing that I'm going to have to shoot. Like that. Triple locked. Someone was being extra cautious. Oh, I'm making it too. So I'm assuming I need one more. Maybe not. Let's find out. Yeah, Triple Someone was being extra Yeah, I need cautious. one more. Okay. I did it. But for some reason, I passed out while I did it. I got two trophies as well. Didn't that? So, am I completely mutated now, or something? We all needed help through this one. We are rare. Precious. What's inside me? What am I? We are. Well. Reuben calls us Newman. We are the endpoint. Humanity distilled. Sorry, I had to push you hard. There is some cataclysm level shit coming down the line. It won't wait. And it's not kind. Only Newman, like us, can carry humanity through it. But the plague. Doc Groves is gonna find a cure and kill it. Right? There is no plague. Reuben. He was a good man once. 
Now he's blinded by desperation. He's not making a cure. No, hold on. He's not making a cure because he can't. No one can. My sense is a zombie apocalypse. Humans. The autophage. Newman. It's an immense life cycle. A survival mechanism spanning countless eons. And you, we, are the Omega Point. No, this isn't my story. I'm getting it. Wait, so hold on. So, in in the first one, you, you figure out there's no cure. And then in Riptide, you get mutated at the end. So I don't really remember very well. So in this one, it was a separate and made by a different company. So there is no cure at all. I mean, every single zombie game, there's no cure. Apart from in Fear the Walking Dead Season 5 towards the end, they figure out that it's based on radiation. But that's a program and this is a game. <laughs> well, you are in deep denial. And you've had my two cents. So go and ask Reuben his. But whatever conclusion you come to, remember... Newman skills unlocked. Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's so much going on. All right. Here we go. Ravenous, here we go. He's endless rage. Slay zombies which replenish your flurry to stay in even longer, yeah. Jesus Christ. Wrecking ball, flying kicks, uh, attacks weaken zombies. Okay. Zero killer. Then he's taking an intelligent uh, vicious cycle of death. Slayer zombie don't want to boost. Rip them to shreds. <laughs> well, when you use Fury Mode, you can actually dismember, dismember them completely if you hit them too hard. Okay, cool. Oh, Mum, I'm in deep. Got if a trophy down with the sickness. It's Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> it's Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> Down with the sickness. Oh, I might watch that later on. I love Donald Dead. It's so stupid and lovely at the same time. Little quality time. Come in, Reed. Shit. the way it is, is it? Got what you wanted and fucked off.
that can is still draining water. Don't let anybody in. What's happening, Jimmy? Piece of shit. I know what you did. Deep breaths, fella. It's all in there. Reuben, Estet, Shatlin, whatever the fuck that is, and your name. Over and over. You all started the outbreak. You're wrong. You're fucking psycho! Jimmy, he said my blood was the cure. Bruv, I'm not your enemy. I just want it out of this L.A. Like all of us. <laughs> L.A. My city. I should have put a bullet in them. Jimmy, sit down. How are we gonna know where he's gone? I know where he's gone. He's flown to some lab on Hollywood Boulevard. Jimmy, what? Everyone's freaking out. We need you out here. All right. In a minute. Should I tell him? Jimmy, you've captivated audiences through nine seasons of lowbrow detective TV. Yeah. Yeah. June, Montana. Nine seasons on the badge. Nine fucking seasons! Hey! Shit your holes, bitches! Jimmy Montana's in charge now! Right. Change of plan. Escape is everything. Emma Jones. Emma, it's Jacob. You copy? Hello? Did your doctor get you out? No, is the short and depressing answer. New plan. I know where there's a helicopter. And I know a pilot, huge fan of your work. You need to persuade him to fly us. Persuade him to... Hey, if you think I'm gonna fuck some creep so you can fly out of here... Is that a fair assessment of our relationship? You just need to talk a nice, agoraphobic hermit into flying us out of L.A. Oh, that's splendid. We'd have more chance on a magic carpet. I bet they're already recasting God Spider. You are <laughs> tragically missing, after all. Bet they are the wankers. Okay, I'll meet him. But no promises. The sewer outfall, near your house. Bring Sam, prepare for trouble. Oh, wait. Level 22, Andrea! trophy. Andrea! Can't handle the Andrea! truth. Rage quit. Okay, before I do anything else, let's have a look at the um, skills real quick. Pain magazine. Okay. For a whole bunch of curveballs in a well timed block and dodge, triggers a recharge boost from an active curveball item. Awesome, I like that. Um, let's have a look at this. Can we change that around? Lightning strike, okay. Striking, uh, striking electricity zombies will also drain your health. Okay. Shortly to the core, okay. 
dodge the shot and electricity zombies also drain your health. I uh, don't really want to do that because I want big, big damage. Anger management. Mismanagement, okay. Uh, risk to stay in fury mode longer when your fury runs out. You stay in fury mode but start draining health instead of draining health until your health gets low. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep that on because um, it stays on longer but it drains your health, so that's decent. I like how it's got a skill card there and it just says Dead Island 2. <laughs> That's quite funny. So it's got abilities Survivor, Slayer and Newman. Okay. So let's have a look at the curveballs we've got. So we've got a nail bomb. Dealing bleed damage, bleeding all the zombies in the area. You know what? I will equip that on. Um, I don't know. I mean, I might change it to the pipe bomb for the moment. Um, Okay, you know what? Um, I think I might leave this one here because I'm pretty sure in the next two videos it might be the end. It seems like. So, so the next one will be uh, video twelve. Okay. Cool. cool. I just need to upload them, really. <laughs> I don't want to upload them constantly because I'm pretty sure my audience wouldn't like it if I just upload Deadline 2 constantly. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this one here and I will see you in the next one. Take care and peace.